Five Unusual People in the World, Part Seventy Three. Hello, everyone. I'm Kisha, and wish you all a new day full of energy. We were all born beautiful in our own way. Today, I will bring you people with unique appearance that can make you startle and not believe in your eyes. Who are these people? Let's find out. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number five, Walter Hudson. Walter Hudson was born on June fifth, nineteen forty-four, and died on December twenty-fourth, nineteen ninety-one, in Brooklyn, New York. He is the holder of the Guinness World Record for the largest waist. It was the size of a giant that doctors measured 119 inches in 1987 when he was at his peak weight of 1,197 pounds. To achieve such great measurements, Hudson had a diet that may surprise you. Every day, he ate an incredible amount of food that could feed your whole family for two days, or even three if your family consists of light eaters. As an agoraphobic. Walter Hudson spent 27 years of his life in bed and needed the support of his loved ones in all activities. However, Hudson never expressed sorrow because of his overloaded body. Even affirming that he was completely healthy, even so, he still had to follow a diet, and he could once lose at least 90 kilogram. But due to some conflicts with experts, he later gave up. After several years of following self-administering diet, Walter Hudson died in his sleep. On December twenty fourth, nineteen ninety one, at the age of forty seven, with a weight of one thousand one hundred twenty four point nine hundred ninety seven pounds, his death came a week after he announced his wedding date. The researcher suggests that wearing skirts like Scottish men can improve sperm production while providing other psychological benefits. Number four, Vladimir Fomin. Vladimir Fomin, born in 1968 in Kanesma, a town in the Ivanovo region, Russia, is a particularly strange man. He always stands out on the street because he doesn't wear pants but likes to wear his skirts. That he likes to wear feminine clothes is not to attract media attention or to become famous, but it is because he wants to fight for the rights of men. Why are women allowed to wear pants but men are not allowed to wear skirts? This is so unfair. This is a very silly reason because I see that any man can wear skirts and high heels. There isn't any country forbidding it, nor does any individual forbid men from doing it. It's just because they just don't want to. However, Fomin's fight caused him to suffer a lot of hurt. He is shunned by friends and relatives, and stoned by villagers. And Fomin couldn't find a job as no company would hire a man wearing a dress. Admittedly, a lot of people have legs that are much larger than their bodies, especially those who are fat. But that is nothing compared to this poor boy. Number three, Vincent Okech. Vincent Okech, born in 2002 from Pita in Uganda, stands out for his appearance. Unfortunately, it is negative rather than positive. The legs were so abnormally swollen that it looks like an elephant's foot. In addition, he also contracted a potentially deadly infection caused by necrotizing fasciitis. Vincent's family first noticed the abnormality in Vincent when he was 18 months old. However, his family could not afford to take him to the doctor. Therefore, over time, Vincent's feet became increasingly swollen. Vincent was confined to a bed because he couldn't walk. His legs were so huge for his small upper body and were even heavier than the rest of his body. Vincent was also forced to wear a girl's skirt because his elephant legs couldn't fit any pants. He was always mocked by other children. According to the doctors, his disease may be enlarged limb nodes, which develop gradually. It is also said that he has elephant foot disease, elephantitis. There are so many diagnoses for the disease that doctors in Kampala, Uganda, didn't know how to treat. A charity has called for British experts to help him. However, he died of heart failure in 2013. There are many famous tall people in the world 
but not everyone can take advantage of their height to do extraordinary things. But with this girl, it is different. Number 2. Malgorzata Didek Malgorzata Didek was born on April 28, 1974, in Warsaw, Poland. She is known as Margot Didek, an international professional basketball player with a huge height of 7 feet 2 inch. She is known as the tallest female professional basketball player in the world, with many outstanding achievements. Her height is not due to a disease like many other world-famous tall people. Her father is 6 feet 7 inches tall, and her mother is 6 feet 3 inches tall, while her sisters grew up to 6 feet 6 and 6 feet 7. Margot ended up towering over them, over 7 feet 2 tall, and with the advantage of height, she is always the best in athletics. Although she is world-famous volleyball player, at first, she was not interested in basketball, but she did athletics. Once, her older sister, Katarzyna, dragged her out, and over time, she changed her mind and switched to basketball. With her top-notch basketball skills, she has won numerous titles throughout her professional career. She also played for many clubs as well as the national team. Sadly, Didek collapsed at her home in Brisbane and was taken by ambulance to hospital. She never regained consciousness and died 8 days later on May 27, 2011. Nowadays, it can't be denied that the world is making a lasting change. Groups that were previously underrepresented are now taking center stage. It's not because of shock, but because the public wants to see something more interesting and authentic than a common standard of beauty. Number 1. Tara Lynn Tara Lynn was born in 1983 in Washington State. She is one of the 10 most influential fat models in the world. Although she does not have a slim body, in return, her attractive face and sophisticated fashion sense have helped her score a strong point, becoming a style icon in the hearts of many fashionistas. She first signed with a modeling agency in Seattle at the age of 25. At the time, Lynn, who studied voice and music theory, realized that she needed to work harder for her future in the modeling world. Thus, she tried something she was sure she would get rejected, a modeling show. After seeing how much she could earn as a model, she quitted her singing and moved to New York. In 2012, she became the first plus-size model signing with IMG. Have any of you noticed that you have something special that sets you apart from the rest? If yes, don't feel guilty. Share it with us. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to watch more interesting videos. And now, goodbye and see you again.